Go ahead. Hey folks, out there in Monroe, Louisiana, where my daughter was born in 1982 by Dr. Guthrie Gerald. Do I know a little bit about Roger Stockton? Do I know a little bit about Monroe? Do I know a lot about Louisiana Tech? Because I was a Lady Texter coach for five years during the glory runs. But I want to talk about Roger. Roger, the Dodger, Roger that was overmarried. Uh, Mrs. Roger Stockton, you were a great lady, but you're Dr. Stockton. And I remember coaches used to give you a heck about that. Maybe Mike Bynum used to call you Mrs. Roger Stockton. But my gosh, you were so good. And you're the only coach's wife that started your own band up in the stands during ball game. So when your pep band couldn't come, it was Mrs., excuse me, Dr. Stockton that had a band up in the stands that played during the big ball games, particularly Louisiana Tech and Northeast Louisiana. It didn't get any better in those games. It was back 35 miles apart, two of the best programs in the country, Northeast Louisiana. And also, while well, I'm talking about it, Roger, y'all know we would have been the six straight Final Fours if you hadn't have beat us with U Jung Lee, Lisa Ingram, I think Jocelyn Hill, Shauna Perry, Shanna Perry, who you beat me on recruiting on, and I can't even remember the fifth one, but what a team y'all had. And y'all went to the Final Four in 1985 when you beat us in the Elite Eight. But Roger, or should I say, Andy Griffith? Andy Griffith, that's who you remind me of. Andy Griffin from the days, and Linda Harper, she could have been Mrs. B, okay? But what a team y'all were. And Roger, you did a heck of a job. But I'm gonna tell you one thing, you didn't get a clothing allowance, Roger, because my gosh, Leon looked better than you most of the time. Six foot four, standing up, ruling the roost, you were the bomb but not in your clothing attire, Roger. You needed some work on there, but I would ask for a little bit of NIL money now to see if you can get some good threads right now because you were one hell of a coach. Now, I wanna tell you about a play, Northeast, that we stole from you when I was at Stephen F. Austin. Not at La Tech, because Leon would have probably figured it away, but I didn't figure it away, so I stole it and I still call it Northeast. And every time we run it, since 1989, I believe when I stole it, it has never been stopped. I run end of game situations. When we're going this way, and the opposing team has got to press at the end of the game. And right now, how we do it is we do it by numbers, point guard, shooting guard, small forward, high post, low post. Number two, three, four, five. And then, okay, you've got my numbers down, we switch it up. Blue, green, pink, black. That will get you, you think you scouted us, but Northeast worked against us because you had some very good players back there. And so I stole this, but I always give credit to the coach and to the team that ran this play. And basically, here it is, folks, live. It has not been stopped. All right, the two and the four always work together. The three and the five always work together. Big little in case you need screen in action. The point guard can run the baseline, and we always want to put her on this side after a basket. So she gets the ball, and if you're two five, you're like this facing the baseline, ready to run out. And this time we're gonna get it to pink. That means that's the four player. So we're going to pink. The three player has gone deep. The five player has gone deep. Get your man out of there. The four player goes to the free throw line, button hooks, comes back to the basketball right here. 
If that doesn't work, the two player has gone to the hash, then she buttons hooks and comes back. She throws it in to the four player right here. And you know we don't trust four players to dribble the ball out there in America's world. So she hands the ball right back to the point guard who cuts, gets the ball, and the point guard takes off down the court and we've broken the press. Now there's other ways you can do it. We also can do it with the two player going to the hash. The four and the five have gone both deep, cleared out this whole side over here. Now the three player has gone to the free throw line. The uh, two player has gone to the hash. She comes back. We screen it right here. And here comes your best free throw shooter running along this way. The point guard's running with her, hands her the ball. If that's your best free throw shooter, she keeps the ball. If not, we give it back to the one. And if that doesn't work, remember the three has set the screen. She comes back and she hands it ball to the three player who gets the ball back to the one. But Roger, this is your day. This is your moment. Are you ready to call your next play? I love coaching against you over all the years. You're still Andy Griffith to me, and Linda Harper was Mrs. B, and y'all went to the Final Four in 1985 with a great ball club. Glad to call you a friend. The battles that we had, I remember, I'll close it with this. One time I took my family on the bus. I was so mad we got beat on the way back. I made my wife and kids ride in a car with somebody else because I didn't want anybody on the bus. And I still suffered because of that when I got home. But we had some great battles. Never lost to you in Nacogdoches, but I sure did uh, at La Tech, the one that counted, and then we lost to you a couple times at Northeast when I was at Stephen F. in Monroe. Tough place to play, but your wife in the stands directing her band, Dr. Stockton. Appreciate you, love you, enjoy your day.